This is a piezoelectric transducer. It responds to physical pressure by producing an electrical charge, which makes it really handy as a sound pickup among a lot of other uses. Now, if we apply an electrical charge to it, it'll change shape slightly. If we pulse a charge very quickly on and off, we can use piezos to create sound. Ah, that's enough of that. Now, I find piezos amazing. The material used on most of these is a special ceramic, but we can produce our own piezoelectric crystals really easily. Let me show you. Potassium sodium tartrate, also known as Rochelle salt, is a piezoelectric crystal which can be prepared using two common ingredients. Sodium carbonate, aka soda ash, can be found at most art supply shops, it's a dye fixer, and potassium bitartrate, aka cream of tartar, can be found in the spice section of many grocery stores. First, I'll mix about 7 ounces of the potassium bitartrate with 1 cup of water in a Pyrex measuring cup. Then, place the measuring cup in a saucepan of water and heat it until it's just simmering, around 180 degrees Fahrenheit or so. Once it's simmering, add a half teaspoon of soda ash to the mix. As you can see, this causes quite a bit of fizzing and bubbling action, so I'll wait for that to calm down a bit and then stir before adding another scoop. Then repeat this process until the solution stops bubbling and turns clear. This happens pretty abruptly, so it's hard to miss. While the solution is still hot, pour it through a coffee filter into another Pyrex container. This will remove any remaining chunks of soda ash. After letting it cool for a few minutes, I poured the liquid into a plastic storage container, covered it loosely, and let it stand overnight in a cool area. The next morning, I was greeted by big clusters of Rochelle salt crystals. A lot of them, too. After pouring the remaining liquid into another container for possible future use, I dried off each cluster. Now, I just need to pick one out for testing. This one looks pretty good. I added a bit of foam padding and foil tape to my pan of ice jaws so the crystal can be held somewhat gently while providing an electrical contact to each side. Just need to hook up my oscilloscope probe, mount the test crystal in place, and I'll use the handle of a small screwdriver to, well, hit it, or apply mechanical pressure. And yes, it's definitely kicking out an AC voltage for every hit. Wow, that still seems crazy to me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a homebrew piezoelectric crystal. Pretty awesome. Now, I'm just wondering, how could I make a contact microphone out of this? Thank you.